hundred percent. Tell me what, what what's this call with Juno? What was that about? Uh, I mean, I had a meeting with her this morning, and she was pretty much trying to fill me with a, a load of bullshit about how the mayor, you know, was a piece of. Shit. It's his entire fault. I got stalled out. She got thrown on the bus. She got fired. You know about all this? Yeah, but the the mayor apparently, you were right that it was a bus. They were just stringing us along. You know, she was actively involved in that, correct? A active, actively involved in what capacity? Uh, that they were very much in cahoots until something went wrong. She is no longer with the mayor's office. Yeah, I know, mother. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, the conversation I had with Juno, okay, I'm only telling this. I, I don't know about other people's businesses, but you got to be very careful, my man. It seems that this kind of drama follows her wherever the f she goes. Apparently, the mayor's office was stringing everybody along, her included, and she spoke up for us. And about, you know, this chamber of commerce, bull the business licenses, all of that stuff that we're unhappy about because we're being given the runaround. Apparently, the mayor don't like that. They butted heads over it, and one thing led to another, and now she's no longer working there. Okay. Well, what well, well, was she supposed to do, execute the f mayor? No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, uh, you know, just be careful, buddy. Uh, I'm trying to be your friend here. Listen, but I, 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 I'm heeding your advice. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I have taken measures. What measures you take? I don't know if you recall, but you told me about a little activity that you put together back in the day. <laughs> A little uh, trust exercise. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> certain agreements with certain yep. stipulations. Yeah. And if a person breaches them, it's goodbye forever. Okay. Is she a part of that? Listen, all right, the, the, the rest is my business with all due respect. Hey, I mean, yeah, it, it definitely is your business. I'm just telling you to be careful, buddy. You know, sometimes when you invite, you know, uh, you know, poison into your home, uh, you know, it, it might forever always be poison. You seem pretty convinced of the fact. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I personally don't trust her at all. I think she fed me a spoonful of bowl to try to get on my good side because she got them thrown under the bus by the people she used to work with. All right, say a person does get thrown under the bus. What were they supposed to do? Uh, say I mean, they were, I, I they were given a role to like deliver and they're trying to deliver. They got a little um, little consequences of, of their actions, right? Well, well, what are they supposed to do? Say, let's say you've been strung along by the mayor's office and she's not cool with people getting strung along. Yeah, but she was, well, she, she was, to... she took part in the stringing along, my man. She took actively took part in the stringing along of people, my man. Uh, and, and what if, and what if she sincerely thought that they were actually going to make, you know, make good on some she of the never promises that, that they I mean, gave? I guarantee you she never thought that. How can you be sure about because that, Because the way she pussyfooted and stalled me out, my man, the, the conversations I had with her, my man, it was all fluff. It was all bullshit. It was very easy to see it in the beginning. I called it from day one. We had a fr the fucking conversation weeks ago. I think, listen, listen, I think that you knew that this mayor was full of shit before she did. Uh, I mean, I knew they were all full of shit, not just the mayor. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're seeing things and you're projecting, like, your own understanding. Like, you assume other people can see what you can see. Yeah, but... Does that you, make sense? You're assuming like you it saw... was only of the mayor. Well, who, who else is it going to be? The mayor, the mayor is the one that called the Juno, shots, right? And everybody involved in that shit show, everybody is guilty. The council, all Even, of them. What about Michael Simon? Yeah, of course. Just as guilty. You know him? You know Michael Simon? I, I don't know him personally, but they're okay. all uh, just as guilty. They all work for the... They all work together. Sure, sure. Well, listen, she ain't working there no more. Yeah. I mean, they you know, didn't just, like just us speaking, you know, s s speaking up. I'm being careful. Trust, trust me on this. Don't you ever... Bring her around and any business between me and you, I swear to God. All right? We need to keep things kosher, my man. I ain't trying to fucking... Political people, okay, are the scariest people on the fucking planet. All right? Politicians are the worst. Okay? And she actively took part in trying to fuck us over, whether she's ever going to admit it or not, my man. The unions, everything we built in the beginning that was washed away on a lie, she was actively involved in. And you're dumb to think she was too naive to see any of that. Did you offer any resistance when they said no unions? Or did you say, okay, no problem. We'll pivot. Uh, I mean, I had you to pivot. You did the latter. You, you said no problem. We'll pivot. Yeah, I had to pivot. What do you mean? It's the fucking mayor. He says if, I, if I'm oh, going to have a union, he, he's, he's going to make sure I don't work anymore. I get in the fucking sanitation. I think, I think if we wanted to stick with the union shit, we still have our unions. Uh, then you are just as naive as her, and I'm, uh, now I'm starting to understand the problem here. 
Oh, what you, what you mean? Know, brother, there was a little bit of resistance. The mayor said, I don't want unions, and everybody just capitulated. said, okay, no yeah, unions. You have to capitulate. It's the fucking mayor. You understand the power the guy's got? What power? I'm not seeing nothing done by this cocksucking yeah, mayor. Yeah, because he's a terrible mayor. That, all right, that's then. A, that's well, a where's this power? Argument. Everybody just if, capitulated in two seconds. If, we just gave if, up our unions we, overnight because he we said resisted, we had to. You know what he would have done? He would have gotten this fucking little shit-ass council of it. He would have been like, let's pass legislation that anybody running a fucking union is going to do 50 years in the fucking pen, 150,000 no, 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 fucking no. fine. It would have been passed. Wait, wait, it would have been let me, tell, let me tell you something. When I saw this $50,000 fucking business license bullshit, I told the crew, we're bringing a union fucking back. There is no resistance being offered to this guy. The one person in a, in the cabinet that offered resistance is now fired. Wait, who? Fucking Juno. Oh, my God. You lost the plot. I didn't lose the fucking plot. Why don't we have a fucking unions anymore? No, as soon no, as no. the mayor that, said, that, that shut part, it down, you, you said, about. okay. That, that part, you, you are correct about 100%. That, that, that's weakness that. on the union's part. Yeah. That's weakness on the union's that, part. That, so if we're yes. not going to fight for our unions, why the fuck would anybody else fight for the that, union? That I will give you sure. But to think that she gave any resistance in there, it wasn't along for the whole thing. You can't be this dumb, Jack. No, 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 brother. Listen, I believe that she was along for a big part of it. Okay? okay, and I think at some point there was a there was a switch up. It don't even matter. Fuck Juno at this moment. Okay, it's not even about Juno. We don't have unions because the people running the unions capitulated overnight. Yes. The the mayor said that's weakness on your part and my part. We just said, uh huh, okay, whatever. We'll be a business. I mean, I gotta survive. Because okay, survival is the name of the game, though, right? No, I, I get it, but that's on nobody but the people running the unions. Uh, I because mean, what if we lie, said, fuck you, we're Jack, keeping they, our union. You they lied? It's a mayor. He's not the fucking president. He's a cocksucking mayor. With uh, all due respect. He might as well be the president. With all due respect. And well, what's he done? Jack uh, shit. Well, I Where mean, is I, he? I think he's no wasting his time found. passing the weirdest legislation laws I've ever personally seen. But that's on. That, that's a whole separate conversation. It doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that if the mayor wanted to do something about it, they could. I, I just feel like the... the the dismantling of the unions is on nobody but the union people for giving up so quick. What's up, Teddy? What you saying? They need anything. I'm just chilling. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. You all good? Yeah, yeah and that's on Dead Stelio. Yeah, I'm just talking to fucking Jack Killer. He's a fucking idiot. Just give me a few minutes, all right? All right. Uh, like, I can agree partly, sure. Yeah, I mean, we could have fucking protested, done all this crazy shit, you know, rioted, banded together, and well, get what we wanted, sure. If, if yes. you, listen, listen, if you wanted to, between the two unions, if they did it, if if he, if we really wanted to say, you know what, if we didn't chase the dollar, that short term dollar, you could have shut down sanitation, and I could have shut down lumber. I mean, really shut it down. Yeah. Nobody's chopping wood, and nobody's bringing anything to the foreman at the sanitation department. You with your people, me with my people, until they fucking capitulated, because that's how they, that's how it should have been done. But yeah, right no, away, we were, I agree we were, with I was, that. You were, you got comfortable. I got comfortable. And we gave it up, and now we're pointing to the mayor. I mean, it's not really... The mayor caught his shot, and we capitulated it's, it's overnight. Not, it's not really comfortability. It's more just not giving a shit, really. If, if I'm a union or not, that doesn't really matter to me at the end of the day. What matters to me is the people who lied to me but got what they wanted out of me. I've been bamboozled. You understand? I've been absolutely fucking bamboozled, and I believe these motherfuckers who are nothing but rats, snakes, and liars. That I agree with. I mean, I, I'm right there with you. But I, Actually, I'm not there with you. This, I had no I had no illusions about what this fucker was going to do. He wasn't me. He wasn't my people. And he's not invested in my success. So I didn't expect him ever to make a change in my benefit unless I became somehow beneficial to his ass. And same goes for you. Yes. But I want to get back of all these cocksuckers who fucking lied to us, Jack. And one of them is in your fucking house. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're saying a whole lot. Look, look, look. I'm not gonna be that guy, but I feel like in you know a couple of couple of months, if you're lucky, you're gonna come back to me and be like, Lang, you are right. If there's a mess in my house, I will take care of it, but that's my business in my house. Uh it as is your as business, but we're also in business together, my man. That's between me and you. I hope to God it is, Jack, because the information that I got fucking give you, it, it needs to be very fucking tight and contained. Uh, you, you can tell your people that you absolutely trust, but I swear to God, if fucking Juno knows a lick of our fucking business, 
all fucking hands are all, all cards are off the fucking table. Understand me? All cards. What the fuck does that mean? All cards are off the table. I mean, what that, that mean? That means I ain't gonna work with you no more. Man, what, what 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 is the true history between y'all? There's there's no. What, what do you mean the history? I was lied to, bamboozled, and taken advantage of. Understand me? What what did you what, what did you think? This guy's gonna become the mayor, and all of a sudden he's gonna hand you the city on a silver spoon? Why why are you trying so hard to change the subject right now? But I, I'm not changing the subject. I, I'm trying to figure out what you're so surprised about. That the mayor lied to you. That the mayor fucked you. The mayor is after his These, own interest. No, 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 no. See, 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 see. You keep changing. You keep changing the, the target here. It wasn't only the mayor. Okay. It was. It was in. It was the entirety of his fucking people, which included Juno, my man. You understand me? Juno is. Listen, listen. Juno is is on the staff. Correct. The she boss was. is. Yes. The boss is. Who? It's the mayor. The mayor says, "This is what we're doing. A, B, C. Get it done." Now. If you're working on the fucking staff, you get it done. Somewhere along the line, there was a problem and she no longer working there. Correct? Yeah. Now, why do you think that is? Motherfucker, she was, you know what position she had there, right? Chief of staff. Do you know what that means? Or no? Not really. Oh, okay, so now I'm understanding the disconnect here. Chief of staff that, that, is that like means the you highest gotta, position you, you gotta, can get w w within the cabinet of the mayor. Like that is, that is the absolute highest position you can get, next to the fucking mayor and the deputy mayor. Do you, so you mean to tell me the person who was placed there is so naive they had no idea what was going on? They were being struck along. They they were being forced to do this with a fucking gun in the fucking head. Do you believe that? Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. The fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, I can't do this. Tell me why is she not working there no more? Uh, do you wanna you want me to tell you why I think that or what the story yes, she's no, no, telling? No, no, no. I, I want both. Uh, well, the story she told was she was thrown under the bus and used. Uh, she was used as the. What's the word? Like the the scapegoat. That's the word. The scapegoat. scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Right. Uh, and that she had no idea what was going on, and it wasn't her fucking fault. This, this, that, and the fucking third. Scapegoat, 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 whatever the fuck. It's her version of events. My assumption of the events, and I could very well be wrong, but I do not think I'm wrong, Jack, from the information that I've absorbed and the things that I have seen. Okay? Um, um, so what I think happened okay, was they, they all got in cahoots together, came up came up with whatever, whatever plans they were, the you know, Plans they had, great picture, bigger picture, grand scheme of everything. Uh, they were all along for the ride, okay? At some point, uh, friction was created, uh, don't care over what. Uh, you know, sides were chosen. I, I believe Juno chose the wrong side, was outcasted by her peers, and realized that she was stalling out and fucking with too many people. And to save face, because she got her back put up against the fucking corner, she reached out to these people and tried to throw the people under the bus that she worked with. When in reality, she was along for the ride of the whole thing. Why would she have a random switch up all of a sudden? If she's with Max, why wouldn't she be with Max 100%? She got fired. She got fired. Why? I, well, like I said, right? At some point, there was some friction. I don't I don't care what it was over, personally. It's very clear. Like, why, why would Juno, okay? I, listen, I don't talk to Juno aside from the, the mayor, you know, union business shit, right? I don't really know what she's up to or whatever, okay? Why would she care to reach out to me at, through, over all this? Because she knows that I fucking was sniffing the shit the entire time. She knows that I was fucking being stalled out. I was fucking pissed off about it. I was starting to fucking question what her, Max, everybody else was fucking doing. And she came yeah, to I, me I, I, I'm to already, move the on. crosshairs, okay? She came to me to, to misdirect, not necessarily misdirect, but to move the crosshairs only to fucking Max and Max only when she was fucking involved in the whole thing. And now the reason I have concern is because I know we had a conversation, okay, about her and you bringing her in, whatever the fuck you were doing. And that's fine. I ain't going to tell you who to work with, who to not work with. But when it becomes our, you know, we are in business together. So by proxy, some of the business we do is my business, my man. And if she knows a lick of what me and you fucking do together, all cars are off the fucking table. I snatch the fucking cars and flip the table. I mean, if, 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 if it's like that, when, when, if it happens, if that happens, if you're having apprehensions. It's not, it's not apprehensions. It's, it's paranoia. I do not want 
any of my business that we do together, me and you, all right, Devon and a couple of your guys, girls, whatever, to ever come across the ears of Juno, period. Just don't. But okay, I get it. That's a fair ask. All right. All right. And, and as a friend, a friend to friend, mano we mano, you got to be a little bit more aware of what the fuck is going on around you. In regards to what? And what we're talking about now? I'm just saying, you know, I, I don't want to be a fucking asshole, but th there's people, okay, who always seem to be caught in a storm, all right? And all you ever hear about is the storm they're caught in. Okay, what this first person fails to realize is they think the storm follows them, but doesn't maybe realize they might be that storm, all right? And what I've seen from fucking Juno is she's always caught up in a fucking storm somehow. Doesn't matter who she's around, who she's with. There's a fucking storm. I don't think she ever asked herself, maybe she's the storm. All right? And it's something I'm, I'm concerned with about you, and I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. I mean, you're making it sound pretty fucking cool with all this storm talk. Yeah, I mean, I painted a good picture. All right, wherever she's going, there's a storm following. She's sounding like a fucking Greek goddess now. Just yeah, saying. I mean, hey, listen, you want to depict it that way? That's That's all on you, Jack. You know what I mean? You are your own man. The only reason I have concerns, like I said, is our business, me and you, never comes across a fucking ears. You understand me? I got you, motherfucker. You don't got to tell me a hundred fucking times. I'm going to tell you a hundred times. Holy Because I told you a hundred times the first time to, hell, really, to motherfucker. really fucking consider what the fuck you're doing. And, and then we say that she's a part of your goddamn crew God forbid right? you just fucking tell me because you're trying to look out like a fucking homie. Holy hell. I got you. I fucking heard you the first 20 fucking times. I told you if something happens, I will take care of it. Me. You understand? I will handle that shit in house. Okay. Okay, motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? I will handle it in house. Just leave your people to come work for me. You have too much to learn. Like you're, you're, you're too naive to be doing what you're trying to do right now. You, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, brother, you, this, you need this, to be this, working on the me. You got to be learning. You can't be you can't be saying shit like that to me, man. Why not? <laughs> you, you just can't, man. It's not right. It's not right. That that shit like that is gonna is gonna be a worm that enters my fucking brain. You can't be saying shit like that. Yeah, well, I, I was just You're a real me. fucker. You know that? You're a real <laughs> fucker. Uh I'm not a real fucker. I am a man who's always thinking, and my paranoia is what has allowed me to survive till this fucking day. And I'm telling you, this conversation I had with her this morning was again nothing but fluff and fucking bullshit. It's a wise man once said. Shit, what was the thing that Larry always says, chat? Chat, what was the thing that Larry always says about the well, clouds? What did the wise man say? You can't just say that and not say what the fuck the wise man said. Wait, then hear me? Hello? Nah, chat, I heard what, the wise what man said, what the fuck did he say? The clown one, the clown one. The clown one, chat. Did you hear that? Old man, are you there? I can't hear nothing. What did the wise man say? You can't get mad at clowns for being clowns. You gotta show... You got to look away. Man, ain't no fucking wise man ever said that. I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> man, he just made that up. Ain't no fucking wise man ever fucking uttered those words ever. And wise yeah, man get it right it's the first time. They, guy, don't, actually. <laughs> they don't stutter six times while the fucking phone goes to mute. Pushing the mute button while they're fucking talking. Listen, I'm I, I'm an old guy. I, I don't do this iPhone 17s, okay? I don't understand. Sometimes I press the mute in my ear by accident. It fucking pisses me off. Then I got to unmute it, but then I accidentally hang up. And I try to call you back, but the phone is out of service somehow because I'm in a basement with no Wi-Fi. Yeah, but if I, I, I could tell. It's not enough. You're making me do blood packs with everybody. Uh, once I'm done, for fucking you I hang blood, up. You I'm going to go. blood pack with Juno? No. Okay. Because if it did, it, 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 we should use it. <laughs> you are such an evil fucker. You know that? <laughs> Every time I'm done time hanging up the phone with you, I, I, I feel like I gotta kill everybody around me. <laughs> you, you know what you need to do? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. I need you to look this up once you hang up the phone on your iPhone 17. Okay. You wanna know what you what you're gonna be, what your future is gonna be? I mean, you're pretty much there already. I want you to look up Yvonne the Terrible. It's a painting done by Ilya Repin. Let me, look it up. Let me look it up right now. Ivan the Terrible. How do you spell Ivan? E V O N or I V A N? Uh, Ivan, motherfucker. He's Russian. Ivan. Okay, Ivan the Terrible. Okay. I'm and not... his son. And and his son. Oh, Ivan. Ivan the Terrible and his son. Okay, I see it. The, the, what the one where he's like dead on the floor? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to pull it up too. Hold on. Okay. 
You see that? Yeah, that motherfucker. Dark, yeah. I, I, okay, you see, see, see that? That motherfucker was the king. He had everything. Riches, the whole country, everything at his disposal. The most powerful motherfucker in the world. But he was so goddamn paranoid <laughs> and so fucking ruthless. Eventually, he turned his fucking club and his anger and his paranoia on his closest person. <laughs> and he fucking beat his own son to death. <laughs> that's you, motherfucker. That is, that, that's where you're headed. <laughs> Adoption is illegal, Jack. I don't know what you're trying to say here. Well, my motherfucker, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. Well, I ain't going to adopt it's you. You're like 40 years old. No, motherfucker, not me. It's a fucking metaphor, asshole. So who's the a son? metaphor? Who's the son of the metaphor? The, the, the son is anything that's for anyone that's close to you, that's dear to you, motherfucker. Okay. I'm just saying. You're calling me Lang the Terrible? Is that what you're saying? I, I'm, I would say worse. Deal with the devil. That's what I said last time. When we when we finished making that deal, I told my crew, I said, hey, guys, we made a deal with the devil today. Right. Enjoy your stay. Bye-bye. That's what I said.